Lindsay, thank you. Saturday marks 10 years since a very rare EF5 tornado devastated Joplin, Missouri, one of the worst natural disasters in the U.S. And this week, 41 Action News is commemorating that 10 year anniversary. This summer, the National Weather Service will roll out a new feature to its warning system that's actually tied to lessons learned in Joplin. All new this morning, 41 Action News reporter Charlie Kagan brings us up to speed on how that tornado affected the warning system. When the Doppler radar in Pleasant Hill detects severe weather, meteorologists with the National Weather Service send out warnings. That thing's producing a couple hundred different radar images every five minutes. A report from the 2011 Joplin tornado showed while the agency accurately predicted a tornado, its warnings weren't very actionable or easy for the public to use. So the Weather Service now uses an impact-based warning system to predict tornadoes, flash floods, and severe thunderstorms. In these examples from the National Weather Service, you see the new system categorizes each warning with words like considerable or catastrophic, plus the warnings now highlight the potential impact with direct sentences like you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Gary Lezak and other meteorologists use this information to convey the threat to you. We have a very dangerous cell. We want to be able to communicate to, to Gary and his team to pull out all the stops. That this is not just a, hey, take caution. This could be something. This is dangerous. Just like we saw here in May 28th, 2019 in Linwood, Kansas. That was one of those days. On that day, many people in the path of the tornado received an alert on their phone. And beginning this summer, the National Weather Service will now also send out alerts for the most threatening category of severe thunderstorm warning. To only sound the alarm for baseball size hail or larger or 80 mile hour winds or greater so that we don't wake people up or bother them unnecessarily. When minutes matter, communication is key. Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.